Hiya, this episode is a prologue to a four-part series that I'm going to share about a, uh, a retreat that I recently went on. A retreat is the act of withdrawing, a time away from the world, from the rat race and the hustle and bustle of everyday life, a time away from technology. For me, it was all of these things, as well as a time of reading, reflection and meditation. So what are the ingredients that go into making up a, a good retreat? Uh, I suppose the first one, and the primary one, is that you have to want to go. Because um, if you don't, then you could even consider the experience like some form of torture uh, or like imprisonment. Because imagine you're in a, a, a cabin or a, a, a cubicle with a bed and not much else. You've got your book no TV and no phone and just uh, sparse food. Um, if you don't want that, then you would say, that's prison, don't send me to prison. Next, we need our location, where we're going to do the retreat. For me, I chose uh, the camping pod at Brook Meadow Farm, the campsite. Um, for you, if you're interested, you can just type in retreat centres near me into Google and a big list will come up um, but you could do a mini retreat if you want you know just uh, be strict about what you allow yourself to to do in a certain time period even just one evening you know tonight I'm not going to watch any telly not going to uh, check my phone at all uh, I'm just going to read and do some meditation you can you can do that that's uh, that's fine as well but ideally you'd you'd be away from your home with um uh, in in nature ideally that that's a nice place to do it so why should we go on a retreat uh, what's the purpose and for me it's um you can see it as a, a computer reboot sometimes if your computer hard drive gets clogged up with too much rubbish you have to reboot it because it doesn't run properly so uh, that's how I saw it, you know, life takes a lot out of you, stresses and strains and everything that comes with it. So I saw it as like a sort of reboot, so now I can come back and I'm feeling um, feeling revitalised, energised, ready to get back to life and, and do what I, uh, what, I, what I want to do. And um, another way you can see it is that life is like imagine a glass and you put some salt in the glass and you spin the glass round and that's life. Life is the salt swirling around in the glass and you go on a retreat and that's when you, you put the glass down and you leave the glass and then all the salt settles to the bottom and everything settles down. So um, that's what it is for me, that's why I did it. What do we get up to on a retreat? Um, in one of the vlogs, I'm going to share all, all, each of these. I, I'll um, expand it out and do a, a vlog on um, each of them in turn. Um, but what does one do on a retreat? So I'll share with you what I got up to. And finally, there's our return. Our return to life, to the swirling glass of salt. Because you can't stay on retreat for your whole life. Well, I can't anyway, because I have a job and a family and a mortgage. Some people do, they choose to live in a monastery and it's like they're on retreat all the time. But uh, at the moment, <laughs> that's, not, uh, that's not an option for me. So hopefully I can uh, take regular retreats to, uh, to unwind and calm down. But the, the final um, episode will be about uh, coming back to life, returning to life and how you can try and bring that experience into your life. And in this final episode, I'm also going to share with you uh, a certain experience that I had at the end, which almost seemed to to crown the retreat. Like, uh, it was really quite magical, but uh, I'll, I'll save that till till the end, and I'll share that with you then. So, I'm going to work my way through these ingredients I've just laid out. The first one will be uh, my arrival and the site. Um, the next will be why I go on a retreat. 
the following what did I uh, do on my retreat and finally um, returning from and living your life and um, my experience that I had so thanks for watching guys um, if you enjoyed uh, the sounds of what's to come and you're interested in my uh, retreat then you can uh, like the Facebook page subscribe if you're on YouTube um, or um, equally you can find it on the uh, on the on my blog fragments of fragments blog I'll list all of the um, the links in the description um, yeah thanks for watching hopefully you'll be uh, keen to know what I got up to and um, everything that's to come and that you'll stay tuned and um, yeah let me know what you think all right take care I'll speak to you soon bye